One, two, one, two. Hello, hello. There we go. Hello, good evening. Hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, Jonathan. Good evening. Okay, guys, let's check your audio. Let's check your audio, your video. Ernesto, show me your face. I want to see your face, Ernesto. How's everything going, Francisco? Hello, good evening, teacher. Good evening. Okay, so I'm gonna start with a simple question, okay? How's it going? How's it going? I'm fine. Excellent, very good, I'm fine. Very fine. Very fine, uh, very well, very well. Okay, remember to approach uh, the natural English, okay? What is used in America, okay? What is currently used. For example, instead of saying, how are you? Instead of saying, how are you? You can say, how's it going? Okay? It is the same. Okay? But Americans, let's say, they tend to say, how's it going, instead of, how are you? Um, let's talk about present perfect, right? Which is the grammar that we're talking about. And let's go with, uh, oh, what have you been up to? What have you been up to? Okay. What have you been up to is like, getting up to date like asking someone let's say i and i haven't seen um Aleida for a long time right and i find her at the mall at metro centro i find her in metro centro and i go like hey Aleida, how's it going she goes like oh i'm awesome i'm great really and then i say yeah and i say long time no see long time no see which means i have a long time without seeing her okay good and then i ask her hey what have you been up to what have you done with your life <laughs> okay what have you done with your life what would be the answer to this question Okay, it will be in simple path. Okay, anybody? Well, in my, uh, in my case, what have you done with your life? Well, I'm married, I'm God, I'm working, I, get, I got married, I got married, uh -huh. I'm, working. I'm working in a bilingual school. And I have one baby. Perfect. I'm working um, in at an, we'll say at an, well, in a bilingual, bilingual school. Okay. Hmm. Good. In a bilingual school. So, and so on. So you give the news. You're giving the news. 
what's it with your life, right? What's, what's up with your life? You see, you got it? So yeah. we will always open the class with these two questions, okay? So we can practice. I will try to give you like common phrases or common questions that Americans are using nowadays. Now, a days. Okay, nowadays. Nowadays means ahora en día. Yes, perfect, very good. That's right, nowadays. So today days, that's the meaning. So nowadays they are using these two phrases. How's it going? Long time no see. What have you been up to? And actually here, what, listen, oh, what, and you can contract it, what you've been up to, what you, what, what, what you've been up to, okay? So really quick, let's put it, let's put this into practice. Everything that you learn, you have to practice it, okay? So Francisco. Hello. How's it going? Uh, very well, very well, teacher. Great, nice to hear. Hey, Great. long time no see. Yes, I, I have working in a financial financial service. Okay. Francisco, so you have to go like, if I tell you long time no see, you go like, ah, long time no see. see. Okay. Long time. I haven't seen you on time. Okay, experiences. Okay, and then I go like, hey, what have you been up to? What? Okay. It's a long time no see, no see you too. Yeah, without seeing you. Oh. What have you been up? So long. Yeah, I, I got married and I, I work at the financial uh, service. At financial services at a bank. Financial service at like a, a mini bank. A mini bank. Okay. A mini bank. Okay. Which one? It's, uh, it's uh, uh, like a cooperative. A cooperative, okay. A hey, cooperative. You got married? Ah, yeah. uh, bueno. Married? Yes. Hola? Yes, I got married since Thank you, two sir. years ago. Two years ago. Awesome. You see? Great. <laughs> Jonathan. Awesome. Microphones. <laughs> Okay, Jonathan, how's it going? I'm fine, teacher. Thanks. Awesome. Great to hear. Okay, let me make sure. Um, we're doing something here. Give me one second. Yeah, it is working. Okay, good. So you heard that's an example of how nowadays you introduce, you find someone on the street and you go like, hey, what's up? Hey, how's it going? Now, how's it going is not informal, it's not informal, it's not formal, okay? It's just very American, let's say. You will, you will see that salutation, you will see that salutation in the 50s, in the 50s films, okay, in movies, from the 50s, 70s, you will see that salutation. Even Charles Chaplin, you can see some, some videos, you know, from Charles Chaplin, uh, for example, they, they used to um, use this salutation. Okay, so the plan for today is, first of all, recall information. I'll be sharing my screen because I'm using some words and I want you to take notes. So let's see, we are 15 already, let's move on. So we want to recall some information. Somebody, what do you understand? What do you understand about this? Recall some information. It's a kind of recap about we was talking about yesterday. Perfect, so recall is a synonym of what? Recall is a synonym of what? A synonym of review. 
Review. Remember. 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 Better. Refresh. Remember. Refresh. Remember. Refresh. Refresh. Awesome, guys. Awesome. Excellent. Let's recall some information. What did we talk about yesterday? Uh, about TLC. 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 Very good. What's the meaning of LC? Girl life cycle. cycle. Careful. Life cycle. Cycle. What is there? What? Is there to say about PLC. Uh, there are four stages. Yes. There are four stages. Repeat. Stages. 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 There are four stages. Okay. Which are? Marketing. Introduction. Okay, market. 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 Introduction. Introduction. Okay. Oh. Mar and browse. Introduction. Introduction. Maturity. Browse. Maturity. Production. Okay, market introduction. Number two. Maturity. Growth. 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 No. Growth. 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 Okay, growth. Uh huh. Number three. Maturity. Maturity. Number four. Decline. 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 Okay. Decline. Okay. What else is there to say about PLC? What's your personal opinion? What else is there to say about PLC? It's a normal road for a product in marketing. Repeat. Alvin. It's a normal road for marketing for a product. It's a normal road. road. Like that? Yep. Hmm. Oh, let's change that for... It's a normal path for a product. I got your You're looking for synonyms of way, way, growth, uh, path for a product. Mm -hmm. Okay? So, yeah, so it's the way a product exists, right? It is introduced to the market, then it grows, and then it matures, and finally it is declined by guys. Do you have any questions about this topic or the present perfect? No, no questions. Okay. Okay. Let's... How many? We are sixteen. There are four classmates missing. Okay, guys, today it looks like I didn't need my approval to get into the platform, and that's good. That's very good. <laughs> okay, so there are no questions. Let's move on to the topic. Let's jump into the topic today. And we're going to talk about, continue with the PLC a little bit. On your notebook, I'm sorry, on your workbook, you will find these topics that we're about to talk about. Let's see. Okay, I taste I tested this uh Prezi before today's class, so hopefully today we're not going to have any problem. Okay. Today we're gonna start with reading and comprehension which is the next topic on your notebook. Um, we are on page nine still, if I'm not mistaken. No, page 10, page 10, go ahead and check it. Yeah, no, page nine, it says here, page nine. So today, reading and comprehension, as Alvin said yesterday, we have to read, understand, okay? 
I have to correct your pronunciation. So that's very important. Let's go with this. I need a volunteer. I can read. Oh, now yes, now yes. <laughs> okay, Alvin, thank you. Okay, if you may, please go ahead. One, two, three. Gina and Nelson. Gina and Nelson are talking about green tortricas. <laughs> green I think a new, a new product that has been introduced to the market recently. Take turns practicing the model conversation. Excellent, very good. Just repeat, Alvin. Recently. Recently. Turns. 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 Yeah, take turns practicing the model conversation. Good job, man. Good job. Okay, so here we have, I'm going to read it for you once. I'm going to read it for you one time. And then I will split the class to practice, okay? One by one, in couples. So, have you tried the new green tortricas? Okay, have you tried the new green tortillas? What's that? It sounds like tortillas. They're actually corn yes. with avocado flavor. Again, they're actually corn chips with avocado flavor. Mmm, they sound delicious. Where did you get them? They're not everywhere yet. Only low prices market sells them at the moment. Let's buy some. I want to try green tortricas. 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 <laughs> I'll repeat one more time, okay? Have you tried the new green tortricas? What's that? It sounds like tortillas. They're actually corn chips with avocado flavor. Mmm, they sound delicious. Where did you get them? They are not everywhere yet. Only low prices market sells them at the moment. Let's buy some. I want to try green tortricas. Okay. Questions? Yes, teacher, I have a question. Okay, stop you. Thank what you. What is the difference? What is the difference to use tried and taste? Actually, in this context, there couldn't be a difference. Tried. Have you tried the new green tortillas? Let's change the word. Have you tasted the new green tortillas? It sounds weird. Have you tasted the new green tortillas? I tasted. What sounds better? And in my opinion, guys, always listen to yourself. Okay? okay. And think, what sounds better? Have you tasted the new green tortillas? You make a pause. Mm. Have you tried? Have you tried? Sounds better. That's the only difference. Okay. Yeah? Very good. And I have a, another question. Uh-huh. Uh, what is the meaning of low prices market? Oh, good. Low prices market sells them. Okay, low prices market. What do you think? Not popular market? Not popular? Uh, let's say. Mini market. Yeah, mini markets. Generally. Uh, dollars. Yeah, like dollar city here. In like dollar cities. But also. Mm -hmm. In the United States, there's a chain of stores called 7-Eleven. You find one 7-Eleven at five blocks. Anywhere in the States. Gas station, there's a store. It's a convenience store. Exactly, convenience store. In this case, store. low prices market is a, a name. A, a, a brand? Yeah, exactly. It could be a brand, yeah. So, that's it. Any other question? Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Any other question? No? Okay. Good. Let's go ahead and split the class in groups. We're 17 now. Okay. Very good. Uh, Vanessa, Pedro Rodriguez, please turn on your camera. Remember, I want to see your face. Okay. 
It's a requirement, guys. Remember, you have to tap your camera on at all times. So I'm going to split the class so we can start talking, talking, talking. And I will go one by one on the classrooms. Okay. okay. It's going to be about six, uh, four classrooms, okay? This depends on each classroom. Let's do it. Please accept the invitation. Let's go, let's go. Ricardo, please turn on your camera, please. Okay, Ricardo, please turn on your camera and join the meeting. Hello, Ricardo, can you hear me? Okay. I'll go with another group. Please accept the invitation. Hello. Hi, teacher. Hi. Hi. <laughs> okay, go ahead. I'm not here. I'm just listening. <laughs> we can practice. What will we? What will we do? <laughs> You have to practice the conversation on page. Conversation. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, page nine. Okay. okay. Yo no tengo, I haven't. The book. Well, I take a screen. Shut. I, uh, I, I, me too. Perfect. Thank you. I am Gina. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's, um, let's. Hi. Go ahead. I have to try the new. Wait, hold on. Have you tried the new green tor 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 torricas? Tor I'm doing Nelson. Okay, Nelson. Oh. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> what is that? It sounds like tortillas. They're actually chip with actually. Abo, abo kai flower, flower. Oh, sorry. Very good. Mm, they okay. sound delicious. Where did you get them? They're not everywhere yet. Only low price market sells them at the moment. Let's buy some. I want to try again tortica. I just I just send you the image we're about to use. Where you now, okay? On WhatsApp. Yeah, on WhatsApp. Uh, my phone just died. No, we'll see the look for it. Another group, okay? Okay, okay, teacher. Let's buy some. I want to try green tortricas. Okay. Okay. Now I am Gina and Ricardo are Nelson. Hello, Ricardo. Okay. Hello, 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 hello. Okay. Okay, we practice. How do you try the new green tortilla? It what what they eat some like torti, tortillas. Sounds like tortillas. Yes, or tortillas. Uh, ah, tortillas. Tortillas. It sounds like tortillas or tortillas. I have a hack. Cycling. Tortillas. 
there are actually corn chips with avocado. Mmm, the song delicious. Where did you get them? They're not everywhere. They're not everywhere yet. Only low prices market sells them at the moment. Oh, my mind. Lex Ban Lex Banson. I went to the tree. Green tor tor green tortillas. You said I want mm -hmm. to buy them, right? Take yeah. it. Okay, Jane. Okay. Solo que, eh, teacher, eh, a mí me cuesta un poquito eh, poderlo pronunciar en inglés. Okay, don't worry. Don't no. worry. That's the point. Okay, no. Try, try, try. Sí. No matter what. Just sí. bueno. Mm -hmm. <laughs> bueno, thank you. Okay, so now try again, uh, Ricardo. Hello, team. Yes, again. Mm -hmm. Hello, okay. But How to try little. the new green tortillas? Okay, but what they it song like tortillas? No, they actually come cheap with avocado flavor. Flavor. They mm, sound delicious. Well, did you get them? They're not everywhere yet. Only low price market sells them at the moment. Uh, let's buy some. I went to three green tortillas. Okay, great job, actually. Okay, repeat. At the last line, Nelson says, try, try. 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 Try, okay. Let's try. Let's buy some. Ricardo, let's buy some. Uh, let's buy some. Let, let's, let, let's, uh, let's, let's, let's. Okay, estás haciendo let's con la garganta y es una T. Let, mm. let, 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 let's, let, let's, let, let's, let's, buy some, buy some, okay, uh, buy some, okay, I want to, try. okay, sí. continue, I want to try. Ah, I want to try green tortricas. Green tortricas. Tortricas. Okay. Tortricas. Very tortricas. Sí. good job. Very good, guys. Okay. That's the way you do it. Great job. Okay. Do it. Okay. Continue practicing. Now we'll go to another group. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Try the new green tortricas. What is that? It sounds like a tortilla. They're actually corn chips with avocado flavor. Mmm, they sound delicious. Where did you get them? They're not everywhere yet. Only low prices market sells them at the moment. Let's buy some. I want to try green tortillas. Excellent. Good. Do you know what means actually? What's the meaning of actually? Uh, sure. It's a synonym of in fact. In fact, exactly. Mm -hmm. De hecho. As a matter of fact. That's another one. Another synonym. In fact, as a matter of fact, actually, they're connectors of it. Wow. Actually doesn't mean actualmente, no. Two. It means in fact. Yeah, yeah. In fact, uh, if you want to say actualmente, you can say nowadays or oh. in this moment. At the moment, yeah. In actuality, no, 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 no that's oh. yeah. 
Good. Okay. One more. One more. I'll take notes. Okay. I don't know. One, two, three. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Repeat it. Um, Jack Maria and, and me, Maria. Gina yes. and you, <laughs> Nelson. Uh, okay, Gina. Uh, together, uh, starting the with Gina, right? Yes. Oh, lo hacemos nosotras dos. Seamos yes. Gina ahorita y luego ellos dos Nelson. Yes. Sí. Yes. Yes. Okay. One, two, three. <laughs> Have you tried the new green tortricas? What? The? <laughs> I can <laughs> hear. I. It's break. Yes, with the no collection. Uh -huh. Maybe the the internet connection is. Bad, no. It's bad. Okay. Uh, so Maria Elena is having problems with her connection. Okay. Try it with Josue or with Alvin. Jacqueline, let's try it. Okay. Okay. With me. Okay. 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 Have you tried the new green tortricas? What's that? It sounds like tortillas. They're actually corn chips with avocado flavor. Mm -hmm. They sound delicious. Where did you get them? They are not everywhere yet. Only low price market sales than at the moment. Let's buy some. I want to try green oh, tortillas. Oh, sorry. Yes. Where did you get them? Where did you... Sorry. I... Okay, that, that was good. Sorry. <laughs> okay, just on the third line where you have Gina. Okay, there. There, no, you say there. 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 They're actually. They're actually. They're actually. Actu they're actually. Very good. They're actually. And then. They're actually. Next word. Avocado. Avocado. There you go. Uh, Alvin, you said sounds. Delicious. They sound delicious. Don't add the S. They sound delicious. They sound. They sound delicious. Listen, they sound without S. Without S and without the D sound in this case. They sound delicious. They sound delicious. Okay, remember the excitement, right? They sound delicious. That's a little mark there. Okay, and Gina, then it says uh, only low prices market sells them at the moment at the moment Jacqueline you said at the, at the moment in the mo moment no it's the moment at the moment. moment at the moment at the moment very good that's better okay do it one more time I have to go with another group great job guys good pronunciation thank you thank you teacher was I here already? Yes, I was here already. Okay. <laughs> Hello. Hey, one more time for me, please. One more time. Okay. One more time. Hey guys, you can share your screen. Pueden compartir su pantalla. Si alguien está en una compu o en el celular, les acabo de enviar la imagen al chat de acá del grupo o al WhatsApp que era de los dos. And then you can share the screen. Okay, that's an idea. Oh, okay, don't worry, don't worry. So let's let's start reading. Okay, I need to hear you. I need to hear you. Ready? Okay. One, two, three, and action. <laughs> okay, I'm um, Gina and Francisco Arneson. Okay. Yeah. 
How to try the new green tortricas? What's that? It sounds like tortillas. They're actually crunched with avocado flavor. Mm, they sound delicious. Where did you get them? They're not everywhere yet. Only low low prices market. Low prices market sells them at the moment. Let's buy some. I want to try green tortricas. Very good. Hey, no correction. Great job, guys. Good pronunciation. Yes. Yeah. Don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> Don't worry about the speed right now. No. Okay. Okay. It's repeat, 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 and then gain. You will gain speed. Okay. So little by little. Okay. Very good. Okay. The session. I'm just missing one group. I'll be back with you. Hi, teacher. Hey, hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. I can do that. I can. I cannot do that with the eye eyebrow. Yeah, yeah. That. Moving <laughs> eyebrow. Okay, good. Let's do it. <laughs> okay. Ready? I want to hear you. I'm all ears, okay? I'm all ears. One, two, three, go. Aleida, you are Gina and me, Nelson. Okay. Okay. Um, have you tried the new green tortricas? What's that? It sounds like tortillas. They're actually crunched with avocado flavor. Mmm, they sound delicious. Where did, did you get them? They're not everywhere yet. Only low prices market sells them at the moment. Let's buy some. I want to try green tortillas. Tortricas, okay. <laughs> tortricas, tortricas. It's crazy. Hey, so just great job. Good job. Uh, let's just think about uh nelson's second paragraph it says mm, they sound delicious and then he says mm. did you get them or they, did you get them you can say did you get them? listen okay. where do you where do you get them where do you get them where do you get them where do you, where do you, where do you? where do you? where do you? where do you? where do you get them what do you do? Oh. Contracting the deed. Where did you get them? Or where do you get them? Where do you get them? Where did you get them? Where did you get them? Very good. Okay, guys. Okay. Let's finish the question. Great job. Okay, I'm just waiting for the rest of you. Carla, Maria, okay, Jonathan, Ricardo. We're 14, we're missing four. Sixteen with Ricardo. Hmm. Going on here, Ricardo. Please turn on your camera. There you go. Thank you. Are we fifteen? Where are the other four? Okay. Good guys. So let's move on. Let's continue with the class. Um. We continue learning. See, somebody's watching a movie. Okay, good. Let's go. You see the screen? All good? Not yet. Yes. Oh, yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, good. Hoy si probé todo antes de entrar a la clase, me conecté con otra persona, he hecho en tu celular para poder asegurarme que esto saliera perfecto. Ya vamos a ver. This is 
just did, we something, okay? Thread. Now, we need to gain some vocabulary, okay? You need to put a check next to the word new for you. What new for you? Just tell me, tell me what words on this chart are new. Diet. Uh huh. Appeal. 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 Okay. I don't know it. You don't know appeal. Okay. Appeal. Mm hmm. Aleda, what word is new? What word is what, teacher? What word is new for you? The last one, with, withdraw. 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 We withdraw. 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 <laughs> yeah, withdraw. Okay. I will withdraw. give you the concept of each word in a second. Actually, of five words in a second. Okay, any other? Ricardo, what is new? What word is new for you? You're like... What? Hey. Buy out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. Hey. Things take off. Take off. Take, take off. <laughs> Jacqueline. Oh, appeal. Appeal to, okay. Um, yeah. Pilar. Uh, buy out. Yeah. Okay, buy out. Good. So, let me see what here. Okay, we have to build this vocabulary. How how are we going to do it? Let me see. If, let's do the next step here. Yeah, that's the next step. Okay, this is what we're going to do. Number one, you know, find a meaning, but in this case, we are going to do to expedite, to speed up, to speed up, because we don't have too much time. I'm going to dictate the meanings to you. Okay, so I will mute you. I will mute you all. You're mute. Don't turn on your microphone. Okay, don't turn on your microphone. You have exactly one minute to take, to bring a, a piece of paper or a notebook, okay? And bring a pen or a pencil, a pen or a pencil. One minute, bring a pen or a pencil, okay? Go ahead, because you're going to write. Come on, 30 seconds. 30 seconds, I'm going to dictate. Le voy a dictar unas palabras, necesito que saquen un cuaderno y un lápiz. Okay. Okay. Let me see. Are you ready? Let me see your fingers. Are you ready? Yes? Okay, Alvin is gone. <laughs> I don't see Alvin. Where is Alvin? And where is this guy? Who's this guy? Or Gabriel, right? Gabriel Alvarado is on the woods. He's on the woods, on the hills. Okay. <laughs> yes, it's background. It's night. <laughs> okay, so please mute your microphone. Ready? Ready. Good. Let's go with the first definition. Okay. The definition of feature, feature. Be careful, I'm not saying future. This is 
feature. And the definition is a particular trait characteristic. I repeat, a particular trait characteristic. You got it? Sure? Okay. Okay, raise your finger if you got it. Raise your finger. You got it? You got it? Francisco is still thinking. Okay, good. You got it? Good. Okay. Let's see if that's true. Now, let's see if that is true. So, this is what you should have on your notebook. A particular trait characteristic. Igualito. Entico. <laughs> okay. A particular trait characteristic. That's the definition of feature. Can somebody give me a synonym? Challenge. Give me a synonym of feature. Synonym. Presentation. Presentation. Performance. Characteristic. There you go. Thank you, Abigail. Attribute. Attribute. Another one. Excellent. Very good. Yeah. Attribute. Excellent. Very good, guys. Let's go with the second one. Second definition. I hope you are really writing because this is part of a test in the future. Okay, let's go with the second definition. And the second definition is brought to you by Coca-Cola. Okay, second characteristic. Differentiate, differentiate. You can ask me to spell it if you want. Differentiate. Spell it, please. Okay, spelling. Ready? V I F F E R E N T I A T E. Sorry, I get. You didn't get it. <laughs> Come on, Mister Intermediate Three. Come on. Okay, next. Differentiate. I'm gonna repeat it again. Differentiate. V as in Delta. I, India. F, Foxtrot. F, Foxtrot. E, Echo. R, Romeo. E. Echo, N, November, T, Tango, I, India, A, Alpha, T, Tango, E, Echo. You got it? I mean, it was like, <laughs> yes and no. Okay. <laughs> okay, the definition, the definition is, to be able to tell apart, to be able to tell apart, differentiate. Ready? To be able to tell apart, you got it? Let me see your fingers. Good, 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 good. Okay, let's see if you got it. The second definition is differentiate. To be able to tell apart. I 
I hope you got it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, we go with the next definition in five, four, three, two, one. Ready? Let's do it. Okay, let's go with the third definition. Third definition. The third definition is brought to you by La Pupuseria de la Niña Lilian. Okay, third definition. Appeal, appeal, and that spells a p p e appeal like a palabra. A l yes sir. We are giving definitions of new words. So the next word is appeal. A p p e a l appeal. A p p e a l. Okay. The definition is attractiveness that interests or pleases or stimulates. I repeat, attractiveness that interests or pleases or stimulates so you have seven words seven words attractiveness that interest or pleases or stimulate, okay? And that's appeal, appeal. Let's see, ready? Good, okay. Let's see if this is what you got. So appeal, attractiveness, that interests or pleases or stimulates. So, Teacher, thank you. What is the meaning? What is the meaning of pleases? Pleases. Yeah. It comes from the word pleasure, to give pleasure. When you feel fine with something, you feel fine with something. So let's say, I am pleased with your behavior, Aleida. I am pleased with your behavior. You, you really please me. Okay. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Satisfacer. Yeah. It's a synonym of satisfy. Okay. I'm sorry. Agrado. Agrado. Yeah. Very good. And this is more in the feelings. You know, in the feelings. So, guys, so far we have feature, differentiate, and appeal. What do you think? What is differentiate? Okay. In your own words, what is to differentiate? Is, is uh, um, characteristic or thing that um make you not of not of the not common as the other person differentiate yeah mm -hmm. it's to tell it's, it's, it's like the difference right between two things that's the definition in your own words let's say the different the difference between two things okay you can dif differentiate two things what is the the, the uh, it's extern and the feature is intern is inside differentiate 
both. I will say both. I mean, it's just you differentiate two things based on the characteristics, just the way Aleida was saying. So you see the characteristics, external or internal, but you're able to tell the difference. That's why it says to tell apart. Okay. In your own words, what is to appeal? What is appeal? No, okay. So something positive in, in somebody. In some in product. Or in a product, if you like something, like when you go to, oh, well, let me make you a question. Do you find Mr. Donut appealing? Is Mr. Donut appealing to you? Only in September. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Perfect. There you go. Okay. Me too. Same here. Same here. Okay. Let's go with the next one. It's just two more. Two more and that's it. Okay. Let me see. Okay. Next definition. Consumers. Oh, I'm sorry. The definition of demand. 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 Okay, ready? Demand. The definition is consumers desire and ability to purchase a good or service. I repeat, demand. Consumers desire and ability to purchase a good or service. That's the definition of demand. Is that what you got? You got it? Excellent, got it, got it, got it. Gabriel, what, Gabriel, he's left. Gabriel, hello, Gabriel Alvarado, are you just left? Yes, sir. Sure. Your, your screen is frozen, <laughs> so, are you okay? Okay, good, I, I saw you moving, okay, good. <laughs> take notes, take notes. This exercise is not, do you like the exercise? Yeah. Yeah, I have I have yes. Okay, I can tell. Good, but can you hear us? I'm writing my I'm writing my PC. Perfect. Okay, good. Let's go with the next definition, guys. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't show it to you, right? Did I show it? No, I didn't show it. Okay. So we have demand. Okay. Demand. That's the definition of demand. Consumers desire an ability, ability to purchase a good or, or service. Consumers desire an ability. I can, I can pay for that product. Ability to pay, purchase a good or service. What is the difference between a good and a service? It's on to me saying good is, is a thing. Ones. Good is yeah. a thing. Good. Very good. And service is like uh, it can't be touched. Untangible. Repeat. Untangible. Untangible. Tangible. 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 Yeah. Yo. Yo, untangible. Okay. Untangible. Let me see. Hold on, hold on. Intangible, okay, intangible, intangible, intangible. Intangible. And I say on, on tangible, yeah, it's intangible. You cannot touch it, okay? Uh, so for example, this is a good, 
a notebook is a good, but I will give you the service. I'm going to write for you, okay? And this action is my service to you. I'm writing for you, okay? That's the service. Okay, good. So what is demand? It's the consumer's desire and ability to purchase a good or service. That's the demand. And last definition, okay? Let's go with last definition. This is the last one. I hope you're taking notes. This will be on your exam. Okay. And the last one is withdraw. Withdraw. And I'll spell it for you guys. I'll spell it for you. This is not a common word. Withdraw spells W I T H V R A W. I repeat. W I T H V R A W. Withdraw. 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 Okay. Let me spell it again for you. That's Whiskey India Tango Hotel Delta Romeo Alpha Whiskey. What? <laughs> okay. That's phonetic alphabet or NATO alphabet. I hope you know about it. I got it. Got it. Okay, the definition, definition is remove or take away something from a particular place or position and I repeat remove or take away something from a particular place or position. Good, Maria. Thank you, Gabriel. Somebody else? Okay, thank you, Carla. Be careful with the T-Rex, Carla. Alvin, thank you. Didn't notice before. <laughs> Francisco was okay. That's the last one. Okay. Huh. Was it difficult? Nah. Easy, easy. There you go, guys. You're excellent. Let's go with the last one. Okay, so that was withdrawal. Withdrawal. Withdraw money, for example, when you withdraw money from the ATM. Okay, withdraw. Okay, remove or take away something from a particular place or position. Very good. Withdraw. So I'm going to the ATM and I'm going to withdraw money. Have you ever withdraw money from an ATM? What is an ATM? It's cajero automático. Automatic cashier, yeah. Automatic cash. <laughs> there you go. Thank you very much. Remember, try to use English. No matter how, no matter what you want to say, just try English, okay? Make mistakes. There you go. So what are we going to do now to have fun? Really quick. I just need you to write one sentence for each word that I just gave you. So it's four sentences, right? How many? Is it four? One, two, no. One, two, three, four, five sentences, okay? Five sentences with these five words. I will split the class, but before doing that, we will do our first attendance check. Hmm. Just one second. Sorry about the lay. Give me just one minute.
Yes, there it is. Okay, so remember, tell me here if you are here, okay? Sorry, my internet is loading right now. The attendance list for some reason is reloading it. We are group 25, there it is. Okay, so number one, Carla Eugenia Molina Barraza. Here. Here, very good, today is the 28th. Let's go with Marvin Josue Aguilar Martinez. Here. <laughs> Thank you. Ricardo Alexander Rodriguez Guzman. Here. Hello. Yes, thank you, Ricardo. Bertha Patricia, Patricia Aleman Bergueta. Not here, right? Yeah, she didn't come today. Okay. Ismenia Abigail Trejo Hernandez. Here. Thank you, Ismenia. Xiomara Hernandez. No, she's not here today. She said she was going to connect with another computer today, but she's not here. Alvin Jose Silva Romero. Over here, sir. Thank you. Maria Elena Tamayo. Here, teacher. Thank you. Eunice de la Paz. Yep. Eunice de la Paz. Jimenez. Yes, here. Thank you. Jonathan Alexander. Here. Thank you. Jacqueline Giovanna Guardado. Here. Thank you. Jose Ernesto Molina. No. I said Jose Ernesto Molina Guzman. Jose Ernesto? No? Okay. We're going with Melissa Ives Aguilar Flores. No, Melissa is not here today. Okay. Gabriel Alexander Alvarado. Hello. Here the chair. Okay, good. Thank you. Thank you, Gabriel. Saida Carolina. Here. Walter Abraham. No, nope. Walter Abraham wasn't here yesterday too. Okay, Francisco Adrián Martinez. Here. Excellent. Maria Soledad. Here, teacher. Thank you. Vanessa Alexandra. No. She wasn't here. Yes. Here. Oh, Vanessa, are you there? Yeah, what happened yesterday? You were not with us. Okay. Vanessa, okay. Yeah. Okay, Ale Raquel. Here, teacher. Excellent, thank you. Did I miss anybody? Okay, give me just one second, okay? So I was just checking the attendance. Sorry, we have a little commercial right now. Give me one minute. <laughs> I'm in the studio and my wife wanted to take something out of the desk and there we go okay good so so let's move on to the next topic guys okay so now we have those meetings let's go ahead and create five sentences using the words that we just defined okay what i'm going to do is split the class okay really quick you only have five minutes five minutes to create five sentences okay got it 
I will split the class in four groups again and create the five sentences that you need with these words, okay? Good, let's do hey. it. Questions? No, somebody? Yeah. And then on the groups, you go like, what are we going to do? I don't know. Did you hear? No. Did you get it? No. <laughs> let's wait for the teacher. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's split the class. Let's go. Oh. Go ahead, go ahead. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Hey, let's go, let's go, guys. Okay, Vanessa, please accept the invitation, Gabriel. There you go, thank you. Okay, Gabriel, please accept the invitation. Let me move you to another group. There you go, accept the invitation, please. No, it's not working, right? Let me do it again. There you go. Is there uh, <laughs> okay? <laughs> no, no, no. It's something like um. I I ask if if correct this dress as a future at the waist or not. What word? I'm sorry. Fe feature. Oh, feature. Yes, feature. Feature has to do with um, the characteristics yeah. of a product, mm -hmm. of a product, not a person. Okay, this dress. Oh, this dress, okay. Yeah, this dress has a feature at the waist. Waist, at the uh, waist, uh-huh. Yeah, so okay. the feature is a hidden a hidden pocket, for example. Oh, yeah. A hidden My grandma used to wear uh, underwear, underwear mm -hmm. with hidden pockets. She went to the United States. She was, she was eight six when she went to the United States. And when she came back, she gave me a bill, a $100 bill. Mm -hmm. And she took it off. She took it off her underwear. Okay. It was a hidden pocket under underwear. <laughs> ah, okay. Uh-huh, yeah. Okay. And that's a feature, yes. Feature, yeah. This is my my sentence, but I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I have a accent with the word appeal and the um, the principal appeal with the um, the Wendy's hamburger. For me, <laughs> is uh, the steak? Is this? I don't know. Or steak. So yes. The principal appeal of Wendy's hamburgers mm -hmm. is the steak. Steak. Okay, it's like when you say, "I feel a personal appeal." I feel. Oh, I found. You can also say, "I find." when these hamburgers very appealing i find when this uh, the steak or meat uh, meat because of the meat yeah yeah yes yeah because that another uh hamburgers like the mcdonald's or burger king 
mm -hmm. I prefer the one thing for the meat. Because it's more delicious. Because of their meat. Because of the meat. Because of the meat. Yeah. I mean, no, because of the meat. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good job, Abigail. Okay, Ricardo, try it, Francisco. Okay, keep working on that. You only have five minutes, okay? We're almost done. And then um. Okay, good. What about the iPhone 11 Pro? That's a third person. You're talking about an object, so you have to say has. Has. Has new, ah. many new future features. Has many new features. Mm -hmm. A tall person differentiates from a short person. Very good. That's better. A tall person differentiates from a short person. Hmm. Yeah, <laughs> totally, totally. Okay, any question? Uh, Maria, did you have a question? Uh, no. No? Okay. No. Keep going, keep going then. You're missing three. You're missing three sentences. Great job. Ah, yes. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. Very good. Um, okay. Mm -hmm. How do you... Difference. Differentiate a Toyota with Honda. You can def you can differentiate between a differentiate and a Honda. Yeah, yeah. You can, you can differ okay. between a Toyota and a Honda. I like that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Actually, Honda can differentiate with Alfa Romeo. For their, um, I don't know, wheels. I don't know. Or, oh, oh, for example, more, more, more easier. Uh, Coca Cola and Pepsi. Wow. I don't know. Pepsi. <laughs> yes. God, more. Uh, Coca Cola is more popular than Pepsi. Stop. Okay. Uh, stop this. My mistake when I was learning. <laughs> I used to say more easier. No, it's just easier. Easier. Okay. Oh yes, yes, yes. You are right. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so that's one. How many do you have? It's five. Yeah. Only I only have one in this moment. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's go with the next one, okay? You have team four. Come on guys. Okay, appeal. Yeah. You somebody can somebody uh Share the screen with a Word document, you know, so you can all be on the same page. That's a great idea. Oh, okay. Yeah. We're doing it in the chat. Okay. Or doing it in the chat, yeah. That's a great idea. Okay. Yeah. I'll to another group, okay? Okay. Thank you. Rock. Okay. Rock. Oh. Okay. Appeal. Fisher. Okay. Teacher, I have a I have a doubt. I have a question. Good, both are <laughs> correct. I have a doubt. Doubt. That's the word. Doubt. Doubt. Teacher, and with the word appeal, mm -hmm. that word you could use it to just to person, or you could use it for him, for example, and. From beach or if if you use it on a person, it's that will be sexual. Okay, that will be attractive. okay. If you use it with with a, with food, for example, it's very useful with food. I find okay. hamburgers very appealing. Very. That's what you say. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just 
going into that other context, uh, I have this appeal. I have this appeal for McDonald's hamburgers. Okay. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay. So. So you have three, right? Okay, we 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 done all the sentence. You're done. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay, give me another example. One of the examples that you have. I say the. I went to the bank to withdraw money from my account. Perfect. Just repeat. Money. 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 Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay. Go to the bank to withdraw money from my account. Perfect. Excellent. Okay, let's go back. I can wait another day until I call you. You've always got my heart on a string. So sentient love. Oh. Sorry. Okay, let's move on. <laughs> I was singing, I'm sorry. I'm just waiting for the rest. Okay. We're about to get in to the main topic of this class. Let's wait for your classmates. Oh, yes. Okay, so we're 16 already. Um, let's move on, guys. There's a lot to cover. Okay, we were talking about some concepts. Now is your turn. Now it is your turn. So let's say, go back. Okay, so the next topic has to do with how the product life cycle is applied. Okay, and we're gonna start by giving you an example, okay? How do we do this? Let's talk about an exposition that you will make today, right now, okay? I want you to be very, very open-minded right now, very creative, okay? So please pay attention because I will give you an example of how to talk about the product life cycle in general terms. How do you make an exposition, let's say, at your job in front of some people, let's say, okay? Just the way you used to do at, at your school, if you remember, okay? So let's talk about a product that I love. GTI, it's not a car, it's a Volkswagen. Oh. Kleine GTI, prima in Germany, people who love high-performance driving drive a Volkswagen GTI more than anything else. Introducing the 1984 GTI. GTI. It's not a car. It's a Volkswagen. It's not a car. It's a Volkswagen. Okay. Why was that? Okay. <laughs> Pay attention. So, the Rabbit GTI was introduced to the American market in 1979. And it was quickly accepted due to its sporty look and speed. It was fast. So, they introduced to the market. Is, 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 the story is amazing, okay? Um, it came from, this was a product. It was already produced in Germany, but then they introduced it to the um, American market 
with some features. For example, they changed the, the headlights. The headlights of the American Volkswagen, the one you saw, are square, are square. I don't know how to do, well, square, okay? And the German version are rounded, okay? That's the difference. And also the rims, the rims are different. Okay, so after the introduction, sales quickly were increased by 40% the first quarter and up to 60% on the last quarter of 1979. Due to people's appeal, this vehicle, or towards this vehicle, you know, they love the vehicle. They were eager to buy it out. They were eager to buy it out. Everybody was like, I want the car. It's the new thing, you know? It was really fast and it wasn't expensive. So that was a good, an amazing car. Strong, very hard vehicle and speed, fast, you know? And it had leather, you know? Uh, let's go with the other part. The third point will be, but what happened then? In eight, 1985, sales decreased due to market saturation. Due to market saturation, the sales decreased. And the new features on newer models. So the newer models had better features. They were fuel injection, fuel injection, injected cars, for example, or I don't know, more technology was added to the cars, okay? And then what happened after 1985? Okay, by 1986, the Rabbit GTI was discontinued and the West Moorlands factory was closed. And that's true, okay? This car was produced in North Carolina, West, North Carolina, um, West Moreland. There was a factory and they closed it after 1986, you know, they stopped producing the vehicle. It is an amazing car. I have one, very old, and I love that car, it's amazing. Okay, so what did I just do? Market introduction, okay, car is introduced, growth, okay maturity and then the decline stage car died that model because they made other models but that particular model uh, died you know in 1986 let's say they stopped producing it okay so what are we going to do okay pay attention to this because you are about to do your own exposition about the sales you know the product life stages just follow this easy easy diagram so make it up invent it invent it create it okay talk about a pupuseria talk about i don't know what else let's see uh yeah you can talk about marshmallows pupusas for example <laughs> whatever you want okay use your creativity why on page we are on page 11 if you see we are already on page 11 okay and now it's your turn to talk about the life stages of a product the product life cycle so in teams i'm going to split you so you can do this brainstorm on all the information you remember about how that product was introduced to the market do you remember some data about the maturity of the product? Did the product decline or does it still exist? Who remembers Popeye's chocolates? Who remembers Popeye's chocolates? You do, Carla? Delicious, right? So what happened? What happened with this chocolate? Okay. Is the product available on the market these days? Hmm. Uh, no, not here, I think. Not anymore. That was a Salvadorian Not product. Not anymore. Yeah, that was a Salvadorian product. And this the is a taste is like crunch. Yeah. The chocolate crunch. Even crunch is hard to, to get. Yeah. 
Popeye is delicious. Yeah. Okay. So let me split the class. And for this activity, you will have 10 minutes to prepare something easy. Just follow the four stages. Introduction. What was the second one? Growth. 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 Maturity. Maturity. Decline. Easy. Easy. Decline. If you don't find a product, let me know. Okay. Text me or I'll go to your group. Okay. Ready? Let's do it, guys. You can do yeah. it. This is very simple. And then we can move on to market saturation, which is the next next topic too. Okay. Let's move on. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, Gabriel, I noticed you're having some problems to join some groups. Please try to now, try to do it. Yeah, I can Any idea? <laughs> no. Um. Okay, I'm just waiting for you to start. You only have 10 minutes to create a product, any product. Any product. We create a, a application. An application. Okay. Yeah. Think about to, to offer to offer service. I I don't know. What kind of service? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Telegram. <laughs> oh, Telegram. Oh. <laughs> well, actually, yeah. Why not? Make it up because actually Telegram. I mean, Telegram is over because no uh, Telegram uh, Phys uh, physical. Yes. Oh no! <laughs> but what, it don't, don't exist. It doesn't exist anymore. But what does What happened with tele with the Telegram? You know, I don't know if that's an English word. It, it, it was the med medium. For the people communicating. It was the main communication system. Back That's great, Telegram. The the application? No. Oh, you mean before? No. Before before technology. Yeah. Yes. Uh, we can we can create the application that we we can uh, pay without the credit card only that like the action uh, pass only the the cell phone okay slip the uh, slip the card on the phone okay no no the i don't know how to say it is slip the the cell phone on the code uh -huh. In the market or shops for pay, uh, food or shoes, like the Asian countries. I got it. Actually, Maybe? it already exists. Yeah, <laughs> but in the, in, the, in the Central America, not uh, exist yet. <laughs> it doesn't exist yet. It doesn't exist yet. It doesn't exist, it doesn't exist just yet. 
Okay. Okay, interesting. So, but the point, okay, what's the product? So let's talk about that option, okay. Uh, so you have a credit card, you swipe it, the word is swipe it, I'm sorry, you swipe it on in front of the cell phone, and that's it. You're, pay okay. you're paying the yeah. on the cell phone, that's a good idea. So let's say you introduce it to the market, um, and then what? <laughs> that, well, I need you to create, to, to talk about a product that you know that went into the market, remained on the market for some time, and then disappeared. For example, Toto's Pizza? Remember Toto's Pizza? No? Yes. <sighs> okay. What happened with that? Uh, what happened with, let me see, we have any competitors of pizza here? Mm, what else, what else, what else? A the quality may be uh, decreased. No, the quality may be uh, where was hundred, maybe, the, I know. No, with Toto's, no. It, is, it is still exists. There's only one, one, Hey, what about self? What? Uh, the biggest restaurant, for example, there, there are That's a... two restaurants what? in Aguilares and San Miguel, I, I guess. Okay, talk. Interesting yes. growth, maturity. Do you have five minutes still, okay? Okay, okay. Great job. Okay, and... Um, Yes. The biggest company, this change of food from black and white to color. I'm watching Rafa, the video right a, now. Rafa, we have an idea, but we don't know what to do with that. Uh, do you want uh, we make a PowerPoint or what? No, no, no. Just talk about it. Talk about it. Oh. Okay. okay. Because mm -hmm. okay. we explain all the process, all, all the stages in, in, in this case. We talk about the the the, the pink boots. The pink boots, the Nike. Yeah, the mercurial, the, the mercurial pink boots. Mercurial team. Do you remember? Do you remember that uh, that campaign was in 2009 when Frank Riveri used the pink boots? with the Pig Panther uh, song. Oh, really? You remember? Do you want to see? Never heard about him. Yeah, sure. I never heard. Okay, I will show you. But I don't know how to 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 put the sound. It's okay, it's okay. Okay. Oh, but wait, that's the Pink Panthers commercial. Oh, <laughs> okay. So what happened with this, uh, with these shoes? Well, uh, before 2009, uh, the boots are black or white, but uh, Nike wants to, to change the, the, way you think, the way you think about the pink color because the pink is for ladies. But in this campaign, Nike Mercurio Vapor Rosa wants to, to change our mind about that. Okay. And uh, the, his, the history was uh, beautiful in, in the beginning because everybody wants the, the Mercurio Vapor Rosa, including Cristiano Ronaldo. But um, in some moment, uh, the, the market was uh, saturated and um, appears another another model for boots and another colors but uh, in another um, players using so uh, oh, Nike change the campaign and forget the the boots and use the jerseys the pink jerseys like Real Madrid Juventus etc okay so that you just said it okay that was good excellent guys 
Excellent. Very good. Okay, let me go with another group. I like the idea. Okay. Oh, okay. That. Now, just one thing. Nike. Okay, Nike. Uh, Nike. No. Nike. Nike. Okay. Disney. <laughs> Disney too. Okay. Nike. <laughs> Nike. Okay. Nike. And uh, we're about to come back. Okay. Keep going. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then says that that they only um, made lunch and dinners. Where? Breakfast okay. too. Where is that? Breakfast too. Breakfast too. I'm sorry. What? At the, at the beginning, just just uh, prepare lunch and dinner. Where? Biggest. Biggest. Ah, yeah. oh, you're talking about biggest too. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I biggest told you that. Hamburger. I told you that we have to talk about Rocanieves. Rocanieves, <laughs> Rocanieves. I remember Rocanieves. Yeah. What happened? But it's okay. It's okay. Vegas is a great story. I mean, uh, that's yeah. there, there's a lot of gossip. Chambre. There's a lot of gossip around Vegas, and there's a still one, right? There's still a restaurant. One. Yes, yes. Uh, yeah. Aguilares. Aguilares. Hey, hey, Gabriel. Okay. Excellent, guys. Let's talk about it. Okay. Let me close the sessions. Let's go. Let's go back. Okay, let's just wait for the rest of your classmates. We're just missing three of them, I think. Are you liking this topic? You find it interesting? Yeah, it's very interesting, actually. Yeah, yeah. Now we're we're getting now we're getting to taste a little bit of, of the topic. Now that you are getting an example, you're giving an example of your own. So. Uh, who wants to start? Just talk about what you were talking about in your group. Who wants to start? Sure. Excellent, Jonathan, go ahead. The microphone is okay. yours. Okay, um, my group are talking about the biggest. Uh, biggest is a restaurant uh, in born in 19... 18, 19, 8, 7, 8, 18, 7, in the table and uh, make a dinner and uh, make a, a breakfast and other and other hamburger. Uh, exist um, some restaurant in all El Salvador, but in now. Exist one in at Aguilares. It's um, it's a good restaurant and have uh, much um, a different foods. Um, only that. Teacher, you have your microphone on mute. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, let's talk about this few things. Okay, between yesterday and today, I have noticed that you guys are using other and another, not properly, let's say other, just think about this. Other is for plurals, okay? And another is for singular. Okay? Okay. If I say other people, it's correct. Okay? Other colors, other elephants. Okay? Mm -hmm. um, another guy, another girl, another boy, another 
football, another computer. Okay, singulars. Uh, biggest is a restaurant, is a restaurant and born and was born in the 1987, in 1987, good. In the Salvador, be careful with this. El Salvador, in El Salvador, okay? It's okay, just be careful, in El Salvador. And they make, they make, uh, now, esto puede ser un buffer, Jonathan, o espero que no sea adrede, pero sí, a, a veces hacemos esto, a, uh, a, uh, 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 eso es un buffer, es una muletilla que podemos tener. Está bien, hay que irlo eliminando poco a poco, okay? They make okay. dinner and and also maybe and also they make uh, no, they make breakfast, okay? Because you don't need the article before that. They make breakfast, okay? Mm -hmm. Make a pause and then exist a restaurant. There is still, there's still a restaurant. I think it's in no way. Okay. And this is what I was telling you. A different foods, uh, different foods, or just different foods. You, you cannot add the article before plural nouns, okay? Okay. Keep an eye on that. Great job. Okay, just one more. If, or actually, what time is it? What time is it? What time is it? It's 9.46. Okay, guys, I have to go with the... Yeah, we're 16 still, but we have to check the uh, attendance one more time, okay? Really quick. Let's do it quickly this time. So I'm going to go one by one. Please say here if you're here. Carla Eugenia Molina. Here. Marcos Aguilar. Here. Ricardo Alexander Rodríguez. Present. Bertha Patricia. Ismenia Abigail. Here. Xiomara Hernández. No, okay. Alvin José Silva. Here. Okay, María Elena Tamayo. Here. I know. Eunice de la Paz. Here. Thank you. Jonathan Alexander. Here, teacher. Thank you. Jacqueline Giovanna. Here. Thank you. Jose Ernesto Molina. Jose Ernesto, no. Okay. Then I have Melissa Ivet. No. Okay. Gabriel Alexander. Present teacher. Thank you. Saida Carolina. Here. Thank you. Walter Abraham. No. Okay. Francisco Adrian Martinez. Here. Thank you. Maria Soledad. Here. Thank you. Vanessa Alexandra. Vanessa Alexandra. Where is Vanessa? Um, she was with us before, right? Vanessa, Vanessa Alexandra, no? She's not with us. She's not with us anymore. Uh, but she was, right? She was before? Okay. Yes. Yeah, she connected actually, but she left. Okay. Aleida Raquel Vasquez. I'm here, teacher. Excellent, guys. Okay. Do you have any questions about this topic so far? No? Any questions? You were talking about biggest. Somebody was talking about Roca Nieve around there. Okay, guys, let's move on. Okay, chicos, vamos. Um, let's talk about the next topic today. So I'm just gonna do a little intro for you to the next uh, topic, which has to do a lot 
with the product life cycle, but let's cover it really quick. Just pay attention, okay? So let's talk about market saturation. There is, okay, so how to deal with market saturation? To start, what is market saturation? First of all, when the product maybe is too available to everyone, or there is many, many products uh, similar. Very similar products, very good, excellent. Yes, that's part of it, but market saturation, from my point of view, has to do with something that you may have already studied and is the, the feasibility study. I think that's an intermediate fix actually, feasibility study. When you want, let's say you have $25,000, okay? And you want to invest money. I'm gonna mute you. So you want to invest $25,000 and you come up you come up with an idea an idea let's say you want to start a pupuseria okay and you want to open that business in Soyapango hmm. in Las Margaritas you want to open that business a pupuseria in Las Margaritas wow so that market is already crowded that market is already crowded. Remind me of this word, crowded. A lot of people already, a lot of people. That doesn't make sense. The market is already saturated. When you conduct a feasibility study, you want to know if your product will give you money. That's it. Okay, so you conduct the feasibility study. You see if the market is saturated or not. And it's very important. And this is a clear example of it. Okay, hmm. some people think that this is negative, that jumping into a market that is already saturated, mm, it's not a good idea. But some others, entrepreneurs, think that it's good. You know, it's good for you to become a competitor because your product may be better. Maybe your product has some good features you, you see that will take you there that will make you uh, get more profit okay get more money out of it so I will go ahead and <laughs> just think about this image you're about to dive you know what is to dive okay Un clavado to, to dive into an ocean of other businesses you know and people is already there killing them on themselves so we're gonna go to this video really quick. I'm gonna go ahead and play it. And I'll move to minute, okay, to minute 10.55. Hold on, 10 something was it? Yeah, 10.55. So there's a question, please pay attention. Uh, what I brought up before about market saturation, I'd like to hear your thoughts on the availability, making the availability of any kind of a creative work, whether it's uh, a newspaper, a work of art, but making it available so broadly that it therefore saturates a market which tends to push pricing down, which tends to then, I believe, perhaps um, support industries as a whole, but not the smaller company, not the smaller individual. And is that where we're going, where it becomes almost like the old motion picture studio model for all creative works, and that that's the only way to make money is if the companies own all of this because of this market saturation? I agree with the first half of your question and not the conclusion. So. The rough analysis of what's going on is that we went from an era of scarcity to an era of abundance, that the distribution models of the past were largely limited by physical constraints, the difficulty of copying, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so you had high cost of distribution, high cost of manufacturing, 
in, in the digital world, you have essentially no cost of distribution and no cost of manufacturing. So you've gone from the era of scarcity to an era of abundance. In an era of abundance, there are many, many strategies to make money. Unfortunately, the people who made the money in the era of scarcity often don't make the transition to the next. Okay. Hmm. Interesting, isn't it? Okay. So I'm going to leave you with that thought. I'm going to leave you thinking about that. Scarcity. Scarcity. What was the other word? Abundance. Scarcity. So markets saturated. Priorly, it was because we used to manufacture everything and there was a cost of manufacturing. You had to pay electricity, water, your employees. Now that everything is online, can you saturate a market if everything is online? No, Alida is- Oh, really? Not really. Ma Are you sure? Maybe because if you have a, a, some people or some person that that manage your social media it could be an an, an in, i don't know how do you say increase no, gasto i don't know how do you say expenses 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 it creates more expenses okay but if you manage your own page or your social media you can save save this this money Take that money. That's a great thought. I mean, if you're an entrepreneur, it's a great idea to manage your own thing. But you will be you will become an octopus. That's impossible. I mean, you have oh my god, a lot of things to do. I'm stuck. But but if you are if you start with a, with a business or with a company, probably you're gonna be alone at the beginning. Then, if the the sales or whatever is growing up, you must to you must to to have employees. You must have. Forget the two. Don't the proposition doesn't go there. Good. You must have employees. You must grow. Like that. I like that thought. Okay. So that just think about it, guys. So tomorrow we're going to start again with that short video okay listen to it gather some vocabulary okay and put it into practice do you like the idea yeah, yeah. it's saturation it's an amazing topic okay guys so i'll see you tomorrow please uh, do your homework don't forget to visit the platform and please uh collaborate on the forum. starting tomorrow morning you can start the discussion forum about everything that we have learned tonight, okay? I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. At same time, 7.59 p.m. See you tomorrow, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye-bye.